Oh, where is he? Where is he? Donut! Donut! Uh, hello? Oh, there you are. Are you okay? Um, I'm not feeling the best, to be honest, little Kelly, but it's a secret. I'm pretending to everybody else that everything's fine, but I don't know. I just, I kind of have a big dilemma. Oh, what's going on? As soon as you, you called me, I came over here straight away. Um, well, it's about your friend, and I'm kind of embarrassed saying this. Who? Uh, Sharky? Cassie? Uh, I don't know, Scoob Steve? Yep, it's about Cassie. Cassie? What about her? Um, well... Is she I've okay? Been... What happened? No, 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 everything's fine, everything's fine, but I've been thinking about her a lot lately, and, um, well, I, I think I really like her. Well, everyone likes Cassie. I mean, she's sweet and she's nice, and I mean, she's no, new. No, no. Uh, uh, I like her a lot. Oh, well, so do I. I mean, she's a great friend and stuff. Well, I want to ask her out on a date. <gasps> oh, you like, like her? Like, like her, yeah. <gasps> oh my gosh, that's so cute. Oh, you'd make a great couple. Well, I mean, it's a cat and a dog, but I mean, everything in this world is weird. And if you like her, oh my gosh, you should definitely ask her out. If that's all the problem is, you can just go and do it. No, I can't do it, little Kelly. I can't bring myself to do it. Like, I bought her presents and I've bought her stuff. And I can't even, like, every time I see her, I, like, I blush and go red and I panic and I can't even speak. Oh, you get kind of shy around her and tongue-tied. Oh, I know that feeling. I used to kind of have it with little Donnie. That was ages ago, though. But maybe I could kind of help you through this. Maybe, you know what I did when me and Donnie broke up? I went on a speed dating. And it was kind of good because you get used to talking to different people. So maybe, I don't know, we could head over there and we could test that out. Oh, that would be really good. I'd done it before, but I wasn't really good at it. Like, I think I'd be much more comfortable if... I don't know, this might sound weird, but if I, like, pretended you were Cassie the Cat and you could give me tips and stuff and I just <gasps> yeah. done it with you? Yeah, that's a great idea, because, like, who's going to know you better and be able to give you more advice than me? But I don't really look like Cassie, so we're going to have to do something about that, because we have to get into the full format as if it's on a date, because you might be able to talk to me because I don't look like Cassie, but then when it comes to talking to Cassie, you might get tongue-tied. So I'm going to have to try on an outfit to look like Cassie, and we can go to that speed dating place or wherever you want, and we can practice having a date together. Oh, that sounds awesome. Okay, well, if you could dress like Cassie, that would be so weird, but slash cool. And I think I'd get into the mode and I'd be able to, like, I don't know, just pretend you're really Cassie the cat then. Awesome. Oh, my gosh. I wonder what your ship name is going to be. Is it going to be Dosi? Is it going to be Canet? I don't oh, know. Oh, my gosh. I don't know. Oh, oh, training. Quick. oh, quick, quick. We need to get inside. Okay, well, I'll get my outfit together and we'll get going on this date. Okay, awesome. Let's do that. Oh, Donut, is this the place here? This is it here with the big giant love hearts. <gasps> oh, awesome. I went to a different one before, but this one looks way better. Oh, uh, I think this one is really, really cute, but I'm nervous because all the pretty ladies are in there. Oh, well, you don't have to worry about it because you only have eyes for Cassie now, and that's why I look like Cassie. I've got my Cassie outfit on. I oh, know. It's awesome. I can't believe it. Like, you have a furry tail and you have the pink color, and it looks so cool, it does. Oh, well, thank you very much. Cassie does have good style. But let's get in there and we'll have to do this practice date because I have to see if you have any bad habits and how your conversation is because if Cassie's going to get bored, she's probably not going to like the date. Oh, okay. And I burp a lot, so I think I need to stop doing that too. Probably so. Oh, look at this place. Wow, it's all red and romantic. <gasps> the curtains and everything. Oh, okay. I think this is the check-in. Uh, hey, sir, we're just here for the speed dating. Hello, guys. Welcome to speed dating. Feel free to take a seat and get started. Oh, awesome. Okay. Um, well, where should we sit? Because we have where to sit together. We... Oh, yeah, we have to sit together. And it's just like, seems like there's like girls everywhere. Okay, I think there's one down the back down here. So follow me down here. Okay. Okay, Donald, now that we're sitting down, it's a romantic setting. There's candles, there's nice art around, there's a guy playing piano. It's really, really nice in here. So this is pretty much the setting of the date. If you do get a date with Cassie, that it's going to be like. So are you kind of comfortable here with everyone around? Or um, Yeah, I'm just going to like block them out and just pretend it's me and you and that we're in some really nice Italian restaurant and we've just ordered some food. <gasps> that sounds amazing. Uh, but I do know that Cassie likes seafood, so you might want to go to a seafood restaurant. Oh, that's a good tip. Okay, I need to remember all this, little Kelly. And if I forget, um, will can I ring you and just like for a meter on the date and be like, okay, what are the main tips that I need to remember? Yeah, of course, I'll help you out with anything. Okay, but now we have to pretend that we're on a date. Okay, so how would you open it up with? 
Okay, um, I think I'd open up by ringing the bell. Okay, and then what would you say? And then I would be like, uh, hey Cassie, um, I really like you. Uh, that's a little bit forward for the first thing that you're gonna say. I mean, it's sweet and all, but I don't know, maybe like a how are you or how is your day might be nice. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, so like, um, how has your day, be day been today? Ah, that's good. Um, my day has been great. Uh, donut meow. Um, I had a great day. I was hanging out with little Kelly and little Carly. Uh, how was your day? Uh, my day was uh, awesome. I was just hanging around with baby Max and we went on some cool adventures. Um, uh, and then I'm kind of stuck for words, little Kelly. That's okay. So then you kind of just maybe ask her something about herself because obviously you want to get to know her more. So maybe ask her, you know, how she's like living in the magical kingdom or, you know, is it a, how is she kind of coping with becoming from a normal cat into a human cat? Things like that. Oh, they're really good points. Okay, yeah, so I'm just going to pretend now that we're back into Donut and Cassie, okay? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so um, how do you feel about becoming like a human cat? Uh, yeah, I think it's so much fun. I get to hang out with little Kelly and little Carly, and they can finally understand me. And, you know, I don't have to sleep in a tiny cat bed anymore. I got a big bed, so it's pretty awesome. How did you deal with becoming a normal dog rat or a human dog rather than a normal dog? Um, it was kind of strange at the start, but then little Kelly like built me a big huge like dog house with um, a big water fountain and stuff. So then I kind of got really used to it and I, I made it feel at home. So do you feel at home in the magical kingdom? I do, I do. Everyone is so welcoming like you and the girls and everyone else I've met. There. Everyone is super, super nice. Okay, um, I just have a real serious question to ask you, Cassie. Okay, Donut, go ahead. Kelly, you can just tell me if it's wrong or right, okay? Okay, okay. Okay. Um, do you have a boyfriend? Uh, no, I do not have a boyfriend. I am single. Oh, you're single. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, uh, well, that's the end of today's speed dating. What? What? Don't know. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. See, I don't know what to do. It's okay. Don't worry about it. It's only me you're talking to. You have to remember that as well. So it's okay that you ask those questions. But, you know, maybe instead of asking that, you could ask, well, maybe would you like to go on another date with me sometime? Because if she, if she said yes, I'm presuming she wouldn't have a boyfriend. So it's a little less forward, but, you know, it's still getting to the point. Okay, I understand. So when we leave here, uh, little Kelly, I have to, uh, like... Get the courage to ask Cassie out. So what do you think I should say, like, to actually call over and just ask her on the first date, basically? Okay, so if I was you, I would go over and I'd say, Cassie, you know, we've spent a little bit of time together and I think you're really, really cool. But I was wondering if you'd like to go on a date with me so I could get to know you better. Okay, so that is the key word there. So I can get to know you better. I have to drill that into my head and I'll be like, okay, Cassie, I'm just wondering if you'd like to go on a date so I could get to know you better. Yeah, and no cheesy chat up lines. Um, you know, make sure, yeah, make sure you go to a restaurant that she likes. So she really likes fish because she's still kind of a cat. She hasn't got herself on totally normal food. She's eaten a couple of cupcakes, but that's all. So take her to a seafood restaurant because she loves fish because uh, she's a cat. And she likes drinking milk as well and she likes flowers okay so she likes flowers and will i tell you what i bought her yeah i bought her a macbook and an iphone 6s plus whoa that's like pretty extravagant i know but i didn't know what else to get i was like oh what can i get oh and i got some flowers as well by the way oh well that's good then yeah no that's really really cool but remember you don't have to sp spend all that money to get a girl to like you if she's gonna like you she's gonna like you for you and your personality donut and you don't have to worry about that because you're such a nice guy Oh, that's, that's so true. I just, I've never, ever, ever gone on a date before. So I'm so nervous and I think I'm just building this up to be like a, a big, huge thing with Cassie because I really like her. I know, Donald, but you just have to take a breath. And even if you go on a date and, you know, if something happens and maybe you realize you don't like her as much as you thought, you guys can still be really good friends. So just always think about it as getting to know a friend. Okay, that's totally awesome. And if she says no, like I'll just be upset for like a little while but it would be so cool because we'd still be friends and maybe then further down the line when she really gets to know me she actually would go out on a date with me yeah well you just have to wait and see what happens but i mean i think you've done really really awesome on this date you've been really polite you haven't burped at all and nope. you've asked questions about myself and you've been really really sweet so i have no reason to believe that little cassie won't like you as much as you like her 
Okay, that sounds awesome. So you think I'm ready to go and ask her out then, little Kelly, yeah? Absolutely. I definitely think you're ready. I think you've been waiting a long time to ask a girl out, and I think Cassie's probably the girl for you. Okay, will you do me one last favor? Of course. Will you talk to little Cassie and just basically build me up and just like put in lots of good words about me and stuff like that? Yeah, of course I will. Okay, that sounds awesome. Well, I think we're pretty much done here then, little Kelly, so we can kind of head back. Yeah, that was so much fun. And you know what? I'm probably going to keep this costume because I think it's pretty funny and maybe I could pull a few pranks with it. Oh, you could pull lots of pranks with it, especially on Cassie too. Yeah, it'd be so funny. She, uh, she'll look like she's like in looking in a mirror, but then it would be my head. <laughs> Just make sure you're not pulling a prank on me with it, because then imagine I'm going out on a date with little Kelly, but it's really Cassie the cat, and I'd be confused. And I'll be like, mm -hmm, kiss me, donut. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I'm getting embarrassed. Okay, I'll go <laughs> I'm joking. Come on, let's get out of here. You did super awesome, but I think we should go home and check on baby Max. Oh, that's a great idea. Thank you so much for today, little Kelly. It was awesome. I'm after learning so much now. No worries at all, Donna. I mean, we've been friends forever. So if you ever need help with anything like that again, especially girl-related, you know I'm here to help. Totally awesome. Okay, let's head home. Oh my gosh, you guys, Dona has finally got the courage up to go and ask Cassio. If you're excited about seeing that date and you enjoyed today's pretend date, make sure to leave a like and a comment on this video. Dona, did you have fun? I had an awesome time, little Kelly, but I'm going to ask the guys not to go over and tell little Cassie. I want it to be a big surprise. <gasps> oh, yeah, guys, no one tell Cassie because it will ruin Donna's surprise and it will be super romantic when you ask her. But, guys, uh, don't forget to check this video out on my channel and on Donna's channel, whoever one you're watching on, watch it on the opposite. Don't forget to subscribe to all the rest of the little club as well and check us out on Twitter, Instagram, and I'm also on Snapchat too. But, yeah, until next time, guys, see you again soon. Bye, guys.